Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Zoom R8 as an audio interface so you can connect it to a doll like Reaper or Audacity and get your recording and editing done in a quarter of the time it will take you for doing it directly on the Zoom R8 itself. And if you have a computer, that's really the only way to go unless you're trying to take this out on vacation or you know record on the road. It doesn't really make sense to do everything on here directly anyways. The first thing you're going to do is connect in your USB cable into your computer and turn on your Zoom R8. And the next thing depends on whether you want to record acoustically and use the built-in mics or if you want to record your electric guitar or keyboard or bass, you'd connect it into these inputs here. Um, if you're going to use the built-in microphones, this knob controls the left microphone and this knob controls the right microphone and you'd want this switch over to built-in mic and you would adjust that here and it gives you a stereo effect since it has two microphones. I use them on my videos all the time and the microphones sound great. But for this, we're gonna be using an electric guitar. So we're gonna set both of these to mic line and set that all the way over back to line because if that's not, you could potentially pick up sounds through this microphone if that's turned up. And turn this over to guitar bass and turn that all the way over to line. The next thing to eliminate any latency we are going to monitor everything directly through the Zoom R8 and you can do that with monitors and use these left and right inputs right here and there's a volume knob here if you don't have any sound check that first or you can plug in headphones and I have this running through a PA system so I just have it running through here and there's a volume knob here as well. Uh, the next thing we want to do is hit the USB button and go to audio interface just hit enter and then execute everything should look just like that I don't you know those are the default settings you shouldn't have any problems so once you do that if you have Windows 10 like I do it should just download the drivers and install it automatically I can't vouch for whether that happens on older Windows but if it doesn't there's a link in the description and you can download the drivers just like that and you shouldn't have any problems Alright, so I had to zoom up on the screen because nothing's showing up on there and I didn't realize that until I started editing it. But if you want to use effects, you hit the effect key and it will bring it bring you here. And you just use the arrow keys. Um, algorithm is basically what kind of sound you get you want, whether it's distortion, clean, master effect, uh, dual mic, mic. Basically the important ones though to me are bass acoustic bass, distortion, and clean. And if you want to change those, you just go to patch, and those are the presets. You just use the little wheel to change them. If you want to edit them directly, just go to edit, and you can put a compressor on, limiter, you just use the keys to cycle through. You can add effects. There's a little button here you hit for on and off. Auto wall, tremolo, phaser, Preamp. Sorry that the screen's moving. I kind of have to hold this here. Equalizer, uh, delay, different effects, reverb, and that's pretty much it. So the last useful function, if you have this connected to a DAW, would probably be the built-in tuner. And to use that, you hit the tool button. And it'll bring you here, you just hit enter on tuner and it brings you into the tuner. Basic chromatic tuner and it gets the job done. I use a 8 string tune to drop F and it still picks up that low F without too much trouble. Next we're going to move over to the PC and I'll show you what to do there. Alright, now we're over on the PC. If your drivers didn't automatically install, uh, there's a link in the description and it'll bring you here. You scroll all the way to downloads and then under RA audio driver just pick whichever windows you are running whether it's 7, 8, it even goes all the way back to XP and just install it that way and you should be good to go. Once you've done that you're going to open up Reaper and I also will have a link in the description for Reaper. They have a 60 day free trial and just for the personal version, I think it's only $100 for the license, which you could pretty much do anything you'd ever want with this. So, But you're going to click over here, which is your audio devices, 
and it's going to probably default to direct sound. We're going to change that to ASIO. This should be all the default settings. If they're not, just change it here, and these work perfectly for me. So once you go to your audio devices and change that to ISO, ASIO, you should be all set to go. Um, unfortunately, the way I'm recording right now, if I try and change it to that, it'll cut off my microphone and you won't be able to hear me. But basically, that's everything. The only last thing I'm going to show you is some examples of the effects on the Zoom R8 and the quality of recording a keyboard, um, acoustic guitar, and an electric guitar. And this one song, you can get a good example of what everything sounds like. If you guys run into any other problems, the only last thing I would check is your settings in your control panel and make sure that the Zoom R8 is installed. Um, if you have any other problems, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll do my best to try and help you out. I'm probably going to be using a totally different setup here soon, but I figured I'd make a video while I'm still using it so I can help those who are having a hard time with this. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys check out some of my original music and maybe some of my covers. I try to release something new every week or every weekend. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.